Nook Incorporated Deserted Island Getaway Package. All right, let's do this thing. Good afternoon. We're so excited to have you here. Have you here? Welcome to the check-in counter for your big moving day trip to Moonglow. Wait, oh, that's right. The uh, the island is saved between everyone on the same switch. I did not know that. Um, that kind of sucks. So anyway, hello everybody and welcome to the Chupacabra's Lair. I'm your host, Larry, and I am joined today by... Hi. This is hi. <laughs> not to be confused with the Houston's hellos or the Chicago... Howdies. This is just high. <laughs> this is Tyamalu. She'll be joining me for the adventures inside of Maple... Or not Maple Story. This is uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons. Where we get to go to a lovely island getaway. And uh, get our nookie on with the nook crew. Um, so yes, welcome to the check encounter. We're off to Moonglow. That's what Tyamalu named our lovely island. Which I'm fine with it because it's magic and glowy. Uh, there's so much to look forward to, but first, let us introduce ourselves. I'm Timmy, with Nook Incorporated. And I'm Tommy. The two of us are already living on Moonglow. We're here, or, or we're there to support everyone, including you! Think of us as your partners. We're in it for the long haul, so let's get started, shall we? Now, let's walk through the steps to get you moved on to the island. Now then, we'll need to look up your application. Can we have your name and birth, miss? All right, let's do this. Uh, my name is Larry. Um, let me just start by making this fancy. All right, doink. Doink, doink, doink. All right, we've done it. Off we go to the races. Birth, miss. Yeah. Okay. Alright, Larry, Larry, let's see. Oh, yes, here you are. Our next step will be to take a picture of you, Larry. Oh, don't worry. Take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. We'll be ready when you are. Alright. Oh, this is where I get to make my character. So I'm male. Um, I'm going to be lightly tanned. Because that's just how I like to roll. Uh, what kind of hair am I feeling like? This was basically me as a kid. Like this in a nutshell. With blue eyes. This was me as a child. Um, I could also have serial killer uh, bangs <laughs> out to either side. Oh, they little they got little floofies. I could do the Fabio look. I mean, I could be Fabuloso. Could embrace my inner Jamaican. Um, I'm not feeling very buzz cutty. No? Alright, not that. This one's probably the best for right now. Now for eyeballs. I really need people to know that I'm inquisitive. I, uh, I'm always down to listen. And at any point, I might be plotting the overall doom of the island and all of its inhabitants. Yes. Oh, beautiful, yes. I can see everything! I know your sins! <laughs> I love these eyes. Like, some of these are so terrifying. Or I could have, like, the dark heart of Avalon Kawhi no, I, eyes. I like the, These ones? No, one this more one? over on the left. This one? That one. Yeah, I, also, I just love how horrified this looks. Like, Perfect. this straight up looks serial killer. Alright, we're gonna roll with that. <laughs> and then my nose? What really speaks to fear? Yeah. I'm really liking the just real big smile on the left. This one? Or no, Far this left. one? Yes. This is like a really pinched in <laughs> smile, like, Soon! Soon, my sweets, we'll be together forever! Have you exactly. had your- Had you- have you had your occult punch yet?
Yeah, that, that's pretty much it. That's what we got. Excellent, excellent. Onwards to the island. Yes, it looks wonderful. Oh, great! Oh, wait, no, I'm still doing weird serial killer voice. Great, you're all set! I'll just go ahead and add the picture to your records. That concludes everything we need to do here. Don't worry, we'll give you an in-depth overview on the island life once we get back on the ground. Your attention, please! This is a service announcement. The chartered flight to Moonglow is ready for boarding. Any customers wanting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. Huh, perfect timing. Come on, let's all board the plane together. Because we have zero other customers. Our business is hemorrhaging money. Please buy more stuff. Hello, everyone. Oh, wait, no, this is the this is the cap, the pilot. Can go off for the chartered flight to Moonglow? Uh, please sit back, relax, and enjoy a free video about Nook Inc.'s desert deserted island getaway package. Aren't we already on this package? Why do we need to see a promo video for it? Like, you've you've already got me hook, line, Five and sinker. Five more things. Well, we've got extra packages of additional items you could purchase, and, uh, sometimes, uh, we also bring snacks. Look how cute it is. Oh my god, it is... I like the frog. I hope I get a frog. And that candy you cane don't, You won't antelope. get anything because we share a fucking village. What? I don't get my own village, nope. folk? God nope. damn it. I'm we have to build our town together. I'm slightly miffed that I don't get my own, like, town slaves. I am too. I'm kind of miffed that you don't get your own town. That's a ripoff, Nintendo. Every user should get their own island. I, I feel the same. because, Especially because you can't even pole vault to the other areas. So you have to build on that first little area that we're all in. It's going to be super crowded. Yeah, that's an odd choice. Oh yeah, this, My town's really this is 100% already the island uh -huh. that Tayamalu set up, yep. so I'm just going to be living in it. I mean, it's fine. I helped design it, so <laughs> it could be worse. Alright, thank god we actually lived. This plane is literally flown by dodos, we're all going to die. Now every time you record... What? Your whole world's gonna look different every time. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Uh, <laughs> welcome to Moonglow. I hope you enjoyed your flight. Would you please join us for a short orientation session? Our fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation, so I'd hate for you to miss it. Isn't isn't the fearless leader their father? Yep. Tom Nook. President Nook, I've got Larry here. Yes, yes, very good. Hello, hello. So you're our new resident, Mr. Uh, Larry, was it? Um, okay. There's paperwork. Um, it says here you have an allergy to a rare type of shellfish called a nautili. Uh, just be wary of the summoning portal behind the shack. Uh, I'm Tom Nook, manager of this island and president and CEO of Tom Nook, Inc. Uh, originally this desert island... So Nook Inc. offered a desert island getaway package. We're a lot less deserted now, but we still accept new residents. Now, Larry, as to the matter of where you'll rest in your sleepy head at night. Uh, here is literally just a sleeping bag. Uh, go find yourself <laughs> under a tree. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but due to a slight mix-up, we weren't able to prepare a place for you to live just yet. Um, take a look around and set your tent up wherever so I don't actually have to do anything today. <laughs> that would just be fantastic. That shouldn't be a problem, right? After all, it's in keeping with our original deserted island theme, even though it literally looks like we've plunked a house down from the Hamptons like ten feet to the right. Um... <laughs> So, uh, there's something else you'll need as well. Here you go. Here's your phone. <laughs> now, I know I have some reference to the desperate last-ditch attempt to stop the company's downfall of, um, that competitor of Barnes & Noble that made the Nook, but, uh, Borders is gone, and I've bought up their stock, and now they're Nook phones. Just pay, don't pay any attention to <laughs> how big they are. Borders runs the freaking museum now. <laughs> yeah, we're, we pretty much just bought up their name, and we're just, just desecrating their branding every day. 
Oh, and I want to make sure it's working right. So if you could turn it on for me, that'd be great. Dunk, dunk. Welcome to Nipphone. Hey, do you like gathering miles and doing our bidding? Well, you're in the for a treat here with the Nipphone. Good, good. Uh, it looks like you're uh, getting good reception. Good, good. I know it's a beautiful sort of tropical island, but I went ahead and put up a giant ugly ass cell tower right smack dab in the middle. <laughs> just to f f say fuck you to everyone's view. Um... All right, feel free to put it away. I don't really like phones Maybe they're me. just, like, specialized walkie-talkies. You know, as far as I know, these could just be iPod touches, and he's just got, like, <laughs> fucking all of them Bluetooth to, to a laptop behind that tree <laughs> oh that's, like, God. right behind my head. You used a smartphone before? No. Tell him no. No, I, I've never. Uh, this is all witchcraft to me. Uh, I think I might break it and then go on a violent rampage. Oh, is that so? Well, uh... I hope you're, uh, how, how wonderful for you, uh, I dare say you seem especially well suited for life in this rustic island. Nevertheless, I believe you'll find this nook phone quite handy, so, uh, do, do, do take the time to learn how- Is he not even gonna fucking teach me? No. Really? What an asshole. And finally, the most important item of all. What is that? Your, oh, it's your bill. It's your itemized bill. It's a bill. That's the I'm most important. I'm just a bill. Yes, I'm only a bill. And I'm sitting here to do unspeakable things to your pocketbook. Why did he say that was the most important item? Your welfare in housing is not an important item. Because Mr. Nook here is a proper capitalist. Fuck you and your Airfare, health. Airfare, accommodations, labor, tax, and of course... Oh yeah, your Nook phone, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I, I shoved in your hand I totally, and refused to let you take Because I was thing. totally, like, when I came onto this trip, going to roll with a $700 phone that was just <laughs> held to a gut gunpoint till I took it. You better take it now. Uh, bring your grand total sum of 49,800 bells. Honestly, this is actually, this is also a Japanese game, so you can always drop the two zeros at the end. So we only owe them 500 bucks. Honestly... This whole coronavirus business dropping the price <laughs> of relocating to an island has been fantastic. Yeah, forget everybody else. Move to the island. Yeah, like, I don't really have to worry about social distancing if all of the other people I talk to are weird animal kinfolk. Yeah, they don't have coronavirus. Oh, uh, so why, uh, hey, Larry, you don't have any money at all. Oh, no. No bells, Larry? Now, now, kids, I thought I told you to stop picking up people on Craigslist to jump <laughs> on the islands. We were told to stop that. It's killing people. Uh, and I, it's fine. It's crazy, honestly. So many of my customers arrive here without two bells to rub together. Maybe stop getting people without any money. Well, no need to worry. Prepare for exactly this type of tricky situation. For the getaway package, you can pay your fees with miles instead of the standard bells. Um, basically what I'm gonna have you do is run in a hamster treadmill, <laughs> and, uh, every mile you run in there, we'll just say it's a bell. <laughs> so you better start fucking running, kiddo. I call this extremely helpful service the Nook Mileage Program. Um, okay. Well, it's quite extraordinary, if I do say so myself. With the Nook Mileage Program, you can earn miles by simply living your life here in Moonglow. And never ever leaving or seeing your family again. <laughs> That's what I a dare say is. the more you enjoy your island life in corn I mean in a desert island that this game was not released during in the pandemic, the more nook miles you can earn. And you can use them to pay back your move in fees and much more. So the bottom line is you need at least forty nine thousand eight hundred some belts to pay your move in fees, but the new service would you believe it only comes down to five thousand miles. And I'm also kind of desperate for anyone to beta test this app. The last time we gave it to a monkey, he jumped out the third story window. Um, so yes, yes, there's more <laughs> details available within your Nook phone. Just open the Nook Mileage app. And in no way is this just a sugar-coated, bizarre way of giving you Chivos. Um, but you should totally become obsessed and addicted. Yes. Now, if you could turn your attention to the resident services tent behind me, where they're there 24 hours a day to support you, stop by any time you have something on your mind. Um, in order to support this lifestyle and business choice, I have developed a very severe cocaine addiction. So, uh, I'll be up there. If you see blood coming out of my nose, just dab it up for me. That'd be great. 
I was hoping to have you as an incorporated customer. Right. Yeah, we did it! Woohoo! I'm in debt! This is basically like every millennial going to college. <laughs> From now on, your life here will be automatically received via or recorded via autosave. Do not touch the power button when you see autosave indicator or a wolf come find you, bucko. And believe me, there'll be consequences. Uh, all, all right, Nick phone. <laughs> you can hit save and quit your game after pressing the minus button. Thanks, Nintendo. All right. Can I wander around and touch everything? Oh, now? please don't run through the flowers. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I had to do it at least once. Uh, so what are we building here again? That's going to be the museum. Okay. I would say pick up anything you find on the beaches, just saying. Is this what we're going to put, like, all of the evidence that boomers used to exist after the virus is done? No, we're just going to store some fish. Oh, okay. Like, you know, things to distract us from the coronavirus. All the horror of the world. Perfect. Great. So here's one of our villagers. Um, this is super bunny light lady girl thing. What is her name again? She's a cross. Mira. She's Mira. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Just like our friend Mira. Hi, Mira. Um, she's like a cross between a Power Ranger, um, I one of the want Charlie's. I almost to keep her now just because of Mira. All, one of the Charlie's Angels and like a a cheerleader. <laughs> oh, I guess we ought to do an intro thing. Uh, my name's Mira. You? Oh, Larry, huh? You rock. Oh uh, well, it's rad to meet you. Take care of yourself, Larry, and don't get bitten by any snakes. She is cute. Yeah, she's a yellow bunny. <laughs> I might just keep her just because she's a yellow bunny. Yeah, I get a say in the people we bring to the island, God too. God damn it. <laughs> we Look! Shells to Danude! Oh. oh, that's a gift for you. You just need a slingshot. Oh, now if I can only beat it down out of the air. Hopefully it stays. Uh, they float through pretty quick, so... Well, I guess we're never gonna see it again. You may see it again today. We. Also, if you hold B, you run. Just don't run on the flowers, please. We. Should've never I'm gonna get you. <laughs> All right, that's actually a little terrifying when I look front <laughs> on at him, like with those crazy murdery eyes. Well, what did I? Oh, I don't want to do that. Remember, you need to find a spot for your tent. I know, but I, I want to aggressively pick up everything on the beach. My first thought would probably be on the far uh, upper left. Oh, hey, that was a recipe you just yeah. picked up in the bottle. So one of the things you can find as you play through this game, as a tip I was reading before playing this, was you can find recipes really easy as messages in a bottle, just kind of out and about. Open it. I know, it's torment when you don't have the right tools. All right, I'm going to bash this bad boy open with a rock. It has a cork on it. All right, whoever, uh, to whoever is into strange bottles, I was just zoning out in the bathtub when a great D DIY idea popped into my head and that I had to write down. I just had to share it, so I stuffed it into a bottle and just chucked it out the window. <laughs> what All is right, it? Cool. Um, it's clothesline. Clothes All right, that's kind of cute. All right, I can. Hey, drying your clothing on a tropical island Did you isn't learn very it? important. Uh, do you have to? Yes. Oh, okay. I know everything now. Oh, you need to go and learn the actual thing from Tom Snooks. I, I, I have first. to learn how to learn things? Yes! <laughs> God damn it. So, typically, what you should see, if we weren't sharing an island, would be all of these trees would have some fruit and other stuff in them. <laughs> I think I'm still able to get my own wood from the trees. Probably. Pretty much... The island may be mostly denuded for the moment. I, I was playing for like three hours this morning. Yeah, so I, I may have to come back tomorrow when things have reset first. And then I'll just leave some for Tayamalu here. This is her house. You can go in. I have some neat insects in there. Yay! It's insectabulous. So and a big-ass flounder. Here we have her room. We just finished making a dress for her and the, uh, the clothing creator, and she's got some bugs that she put down here. Can I, like, look in here? No. All right, but basically, if you catch a bug or a fish, you can just plunk them down on the ground. This is literally just a flounder sitting at the bottom of an aquarium with nothing in it. I just realized, too, I did have windows before I changed the wallpaper to this flower design. 
Yeah. What happened to my windows? But you you literally just plastered over them with hot glue and more <laughs> wallpaper. I would like the windows back. I literally set up like that globe and that thing underneath of a window and it was really cute. Yeah, and now you're just like, who needs light and hope when I could have wallpaper? <sighs> At so, least it's not raining anymore. I guess I'll take over the other side of the island and we'll just entrap all newcomers in between the two of <laughs> us until we can build a proper bridge. I'm thinking you should go and build right there along that edge. Right here? Yeah. You want me to be an edgy boy? Yes. Alright, let's get edging. You need to go to the right more. Basically where that tree is. Alright. She's trying to hide me behind this tree. I uh, will not- Go back one more. But the tree is there. It'll cut down the tree, it's fine. Oh, it will? Yep. No, I don't want to rap, no. Keep playing. Hit the wrong burger! Alright. No, we pretty much need to come back here, but I'll put it, like, right here. Alright, that's fine. Yes, do the thing. Let me imagine it. This is the spot. Cuz we can we can just move these later. So not not having it set up immediately is not exactly going to explode the universe. All right. So yeah, welcome to new island life. Now, the thing I've always dreamed I could finally have in a game has come to fruition. I can finally have a wooden rickety mailbox that also screams at me like my Discord connection that somebody wants my attention. Check your mail. Check your mail. Check do, your mail. How do I check your go. mail? Check your mail. <laughs> hey, Nintendo wants to send me something. Dear Larry, thank you for downloading the update. We'd like to give you a present to show our appreciation. Please keep an eye out for future updates. Hey. Don't I have, like, no choice but to update things if I actually want to freaking <laughs> yeah, do the also, thing? Yeah, also, toss it away. You can throw things away. Okay. Just click back onto it, and then throw away with the minus button. Threw it on the ground! Alright. Alright, what's in this one? Congratulations on your big move! We hope you enjoy your new life in Moonglow! To celebrate this fresh start, we'd like to give you a gift that is sure to come in hand. From Nintendo. Alright, I'm gonna chuck this in the garbage. I don't need to remember this as a memento for my new life. Let's see what they gave you. Wild and free with no fetid connections to the world. Alright, so... I know that because I pre-ordered this so we could preload it, I got a... Uh, we got the Switch, right? Keep playing. What are you doing? I don't How know. How dare you hit that button over and over? I keep what accidentally clicking you? buttons. Okay, I got a lantern. Mm -hmm. And I got a, a radio. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, if you got a radio, you can kind of bend around the antenna so that you can hear pirate <laughs> radio and also aliens trying to infiltrate your dreams. So let's turn on the light and let's see what we got. So this gift, we're going to open this bad boy first. It's a Polly Pocket workbench. Awesome. Can we learn it? No. Thanks, Nintendo. Not yet. Love you have it. to go and talk to Tom Nook first. And I got a Nintendo Switch, so I can switch while I switch. Alright, we'll just put it here so you can see at the end of my cot. I like the cots that we got on this island, though. Yeah, like, they're, they're really cute. They straight up look like they're out of, like, a hipster magazine where I'm supposed to believe that anyone on the front cover has ever been outside camping in their life. Didn't you say an L.L. Bean magazine? Yeah, L.L. Bean's covered in hipsters, too, now. <laughs> um, what do I do, sleep now? You can, no, you go talk to Tom Nook. Okay. When I made the island, I had to sleep for the night because it wasn't in real time yet. But you are in real time because I already made this island. All right. Apparently my time's not real enough for this game. Hi, buddy! You see the yellow, uh, bird up on the bulletin board when you're done? Yeah. That means oh, Larry! That there's new messages. It's great to see you! Oh, we're keeping the resident services open tonight, so feel free to stop by if you need to talk about anything. Because basically the way this game works is it's based on real-world time. So if you work the day shift and you always come home late, you're always going to be trapped in a perpetual night forever. <laughs> no escape. Vampires. Just make yourself a vampire. Yeah. So, uh, if you need a neck bite, we've got a little, uh, app for that. 
Uh, for the time being, <laughs> I'll be out about checking with everybody to see how folks are doing. If you're ever unsure about what you should do, don't hesitate to stop me for a chat. All right, buddy. Is this kid like eight? He's just like, yeah, I'm in charge of your entire <laughs> life. Don't know. If you fuck up, I will literally make your life a nightmare. Don't give me all your candy. All right. Ah, let... Oh, Larry, welcome, welcome. Uh, as you can see, it's quite cozy in here. It's funny how cozy doesn't always mean comfortable. It usually just means I have to constantly <laughs> feel and smell my son farting from across the room. I really wish we didn't eat those burritos before the flight. Uh, let me know if you need advice on how to spend your time on this island or anything else. If you need some advice about basic island materials, you should talk to Timmy, because I don't care. Timmy... He he can help you procure some of the essentials for thriving in our little paradise. Or you can just use that secrets, tips, and tricks that you've stolen from others that you've witnessed do their crimes to this island. In which case, whatever, man. Um, so basically, what he's trying to say is we can go harvest and denude the the landscape and the wildlife for economic short-term economic gain. It's great! It's basically the story of America. Oh, and one more important thing. I'm offering you a free DIY workshop that can help you really build your island experience. Literally. Literally want you to build everything I use because mm -hmm. I'm too lazy to set up IKEA exactly. flat packs. Alright, so that'll be great. So, what do I fondle this? Alright, I see you've discovered my DIY workbench. I will say, this is like the most picturesque workbench <laughs> I think I've ever seen. Because, like... Like, I love how this workbench is literally a better quality workbench that I think I've seen in even stock photos. 10 out of 10. And then I'm gonna make a giant, like, disgusting mess of glue and glitter all over it. Um, so yes, yes, this DIY workshop. Each participant will make and keep their own tools and receive a set of DIY recipes. I think it will be quite useful for the island life. Mm, so shall I put you down for the next available session? Sure, I'd love to. Yes, yes, that's the island spirit. I happen to be free right this very moment. So let's get started. Also, please pay very close attention because it's the only source of validation I have. I'm extremely lonely with my wife on the mainland. All right, welcome to my DIY workshop. I suppose workshop is overselling it a bit. Well, when you see how simple it is to DIY or do it yourself, you'll understand what I mean. Basically, the idea is to gather random sticks and shit from around the island, and then duct tape them together into the shape of normal human tools. <laughs> um, so today we'll be constructing a fishing rod using some common materials that you can find anywhere, right? So for this particular recipe, we'll need a mere five tree branches. It is admittedly a little flimsy. Now then, come see me once you've collected the materials, hmm? Oh, so this is where they're supposed to, like, tell you... Like, before you start the Bob Ross tutorial, like, Oh, make sure you've got magenta, tree, olive green, and bone. Yeah. Normally we use, a, like, a topal gray, but we're gonna draw someone who didn't want to get on board with the happy trees underneath this bush over here. Those are his bones. How do I get... Oh, I shake them. Perfect. Give me all of your branches! I'm just gonna pretend like this is a baby shaking simulator <laughs> and just go after every tree possible. Give me your branches! This is protection money against the squirrels! Alright, perfect. Actually, that was literally one tree. I've just been beating the hell out of one single tree. Give me more branches! Give me also some acorns! And if you have any of, like, your children in fruit form that I can devour and then excrete later in a faraway location, thus completing your circle of life, just, you know, give me a holler. This is getting randomly National Geographic. I'm not <laughs> sure where I'm gonna go with this character in this playthrough. So, yeah, I've got a lot of these. I'm gonna not, uh, walk on the flowers because I will be struck dead by some type of lightning next to me. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Um, her name's Tyamalu. Alright, guys, I got some random sticks. Oh, well, Larry, found the necessary materials, huh? Well then, let's get started on crafting a fishing rod. Yes, yes. Alright, to begin with, get out your scotch tape. Yeah, just some cheap, flimsy scotch tape. And select a, a recipe in your 
in your uh, workbench and uh, let's start uh, crafting. Now, the secret here is if you want to craft faster, mash the ever-loving hell out of the A button so that you can speed through it. Because, I mean, I live a fast-paced lifestyle fueled by too many monster energy drinks and coffees from Starbucks, and I can't stop or I'll die. Don't forget the Doritos. Yeah, the, the Doritos and the Dewey Doo. So that concludes our free workshop. Oh, there's just one last thing. I have a few common DIY recipes for you, free of charge. I googled these this morning. Here you go. I'm gonna act like I authored them. Um, here, would you open up your Nook phone? I uh, may have said that I set the Wi-Fi up, but I'm full of shit. So we're gonna do phone tip to tip. Mm -hmm. All right, cool, splendid, thank you. The DO app, app is now installed on your phone, ready for you to use any time. Okay, flimsy fishing rod you just crafted yours to keep. It may not last forever, but it should serve you well for at least a little. I'm told the best anglers like to switch up their favorite spots and fish at different times of the day. I suppose it's to catch a larger variety of fish. Alright, I guess I can craft other stuff now. <coughs> yeah, let's use, let's do that, let's craft. Let's get craftsy, Darkwing Duck. Alright, so I can also craft a bug net, which I probably want, and a campfire. Good thing I got extra wood, so I can literally just craft stuff. Look! A campfire looks awfully like a leaf. All right, so I've got a campfire. What do I need for the bug net? Oh, I need one more tree branch. Apparently I can't just fish them out of the burning fire if I want the bug net to stay in one piece. That's fine. Okay, so let me just go. Give me your limbs! Give them to me! This is why I'm not invited back to the Arboretum. Okay, so I think if I've got a bug net, I can go start at least making some money by uh, getting some butterflies. Normally how you're supposed to do this is you're supposed to have a shit ton of stuff all over the island if you just started this on your Switch. And it's really easy to get past your debt in like the first hour or two. But I may need to wait a little bit. Alright, let's get craftsy. I guess I could have crafted this. I misread it. That's fine. So yay, flimsy net. Actually, I don't need to keep shit. I don't need to keep rafting. It's fine. All right. Bye, everybody. I'm going to go catch some bugs. And fish. Yeah, I'm going to go fishing. It's going to be great. Okay, so I need... You should sell all that other stuff and learn those recipes now that you can. Okay. That's actually a good idea. Make some more room in my inventory. Let me just learn this. Now you this. can make the workbench at home, too. Oh, so I can make my own workbench. Yes. Awesome. And, now, and a clothesline that we found on the beach. And now, alright. Now I can dry my clothing. I don't have to throw them on the ground in the sun anymore. No more dirt. Oh my god. How do you use tools? Do you just hit A? Okay. I think what I'm trying to say is I'm just going to go walk up to... Uh, a butterfly and be like, hey, and then catch it with a net. Yeah. If I was an insect trying to <laughs> avoid death at the hands of a deranged islander, where would I be? Can I also just catch? Oh, yeah, we've got a little life preserver here. Here's the other dude that's here. He's a penguin. He's rolled. Hey, did you just move here? That's cool, I'm rolled! So you can just call you, uh, Mega Triceps, or, uh, Larry? Okay. What a muscular name, buddy. Uh, well, I can tell you we're gonna have a ton of great workouts together. Welcome to Moonglow! I usually look soulless and terrifying at all times. Oh, I like how there's, like, a heartbeat thing through their controller when there's something that I can fondle with my current tool. That's handy. No, that's not what it was. It was because you got something on your phone that was alerting you. I did? Yep. How do I access phone? ZL. So left trigger Z. Okay. Anything with a dot on it is new. Alright, so these are Nook Miles. This is basically just achievements and like daily quests that allow you to unlock uh, 
magic fun bucks to spend only with the nooks. So now that I've activated the local moon glow miles, what is going on with the TV? Okay. That was weird for like a sec there. So what I can do is I can go fishing, can catch five fish. I can also, what is this one? Oh, I have to go visit people's deals or people's islands and stuff. It's not doing it on here, yeah. just the TV. I wonder why. One second. All right. So anyway, I got a little distracted there. One of our cables was dying, so I had to uh, swap it out with a different HDMI cable. So this lets me see all the stuff I can craft. I can make a clothesline. I can make a little crafting stump. It tells you how big each item is, too. Okay. Uh, one and a half blocks by one and a half. That's pretty handy. So this you'd put it inside or outside, I guess. Yeah. That's nice. I do like the aesthetic of the island and being kind of like rustic, but in that kind of way where it's like you're just kind of bootlegging it until yeah. you get a better one. And then you can make some custom designs. We were doing this earlier. This allows you to use an in-game editor to produce different patterns for things like wallpapers, your clothing, and other stuff using a pixel editor, which is pretty cool. You can take some smelfies. So let's do that here. And we can use X to zoom in. I've seen your crimes. All right, cool. We've taken a picture now too. I like it. Actually, this is actually kind of fun. Mm -hmm. I'm already, I'm already in it to win it now. Oh, I got a thing for taking a picture, <laughs> did I? Yes. Now you see, this is how they get you. Those <laughs> random rushes of endorphins. They know me too well. It's true. All right. Well, I'm gonna start going through some more of this and looking at all of the uh, missions I have for today. We've also got, I can call different residents over of my island to come say howdy if I want. And then, oh, <laughs> I can literally call the person who shares the switch with do me. Alright, let's do it. You'll need two oh, controllers. Oh, we can play together? Oh my god, that's how we're doing this then. Yes. Alright. You don't have to right now, but right. we will definitely next time. Alright, so you that's why they share uh, an island. I like it. Right, I'm on tomorrow. I'm on board now, Nintendo. <laughs> you did it. Alright, so we can also get rescued in case we get stuck. Alright, that's actually something they definitely need, because I could definitely see where you could get like stuck on the other side of a river or something early on in the game and not really be able to do anything. All right, we got a butterfly. The other thing is like what you should do to make a lot of money early on in the game is catch as many bugs as you can, especially at nighttime if you can get in here at night because there's going to be a bunch of crazy tarantulas on the ground. And while they might cause you to faint, if you catch them, they're worth like 8,000 bucks a piece. That's probably what I'm going to end up doing tonight. Your best way to do it is sneak up on them. So you got to hold A while you're walking, and it'll sneak. And so it won't get you, and wait, then you get them. Wait, wait, wait. Where's the Where's the people? Yes, you can do that. My motherfucker. <laughs> Coming for you. Ha! <laughs> they have emotes, but you were he was behind a tree, so you couldn't that's see that. That's fantastic. I love it. All right, well, that's probably as much as I'm going to do for this episode, everybody. I'm going to wander about and see about how many other bugs are around. Maybe and see grind what else up there is. so you can pay off your ten. Yeah, see, see what else there is to grab real quick in between episodes, and then I will be back to say howdy to everybody. So until then, I've been your host, Larry. This has been the lovely Tayamalu. And I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.